couples and all that. I don't even want to go into that, but it's, it's so weird now, right? Dating, everything's changed with the advent of, of social media and, and you, you carry your phone all the time. Like now, you want to hook up? There's an app for that. <laughs> that shit is amazing to me. Like now you want to get laid, you just take out your phone, right? And you know, because I, I mean, it's a different generation. I don't do it, right? My nephew, I got a nephew in his 20s, he was showing it to me, man, like Tinder and Instagram. My nephew's like an Instagram assassin. He is. He said, look, Uncle, all you do is you flick through the pictures, right? Then you hit one, you hit like, then she hits like. A couple of days later, bam! And I'm like, on a like? That's all the effort you put in? Like, a lot of shit. If that worked, I'd have 23 kids. You can... And I'm not knocking it. I'm cool with it. It just shows how things have changed, you know? Because I'll, I'll admit, I look. You know, but I can't be trying to hook up on Instagram. I'm a little too old to be trying. I can look on Instagram. I can't be hitting on girls on Instagram. Then I'd be the creepy guy on Instagram, <laughs> right? And, and no, I used to think creepy was the worst thing a guy could be. And then I heard these two girls talking about a guy who looked rapey. <laughs> and I was like, that's a thing now? There's rapey out there? That is the worst shit I have ever heard. Can you imagine being described as rapey? Like, if you looked rapey, you would do anything to get back to creepy, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? You'd be at the gym every day like, man, you working out hard, man, I gotta get back to creepy. Somehow I done slipped into rapey. How do you function in everyday life looking rapey? Right, you can't go to the grocery store looking rapey. You're like, wow, there's no one in the aisle. Because your rapey ass is in the aisle. Now, how about you go home, someone else can buy some cereal today, you rapey son of a bitch. I can't buy a car, right? The minute, the minute you hit the, the car lot, the guy's like, oh, oh, yeah, we got vans in the back. <laughs> well, no, you look kind of rapey. We figure you need a new van. It's clean, no DNA on those vans. Worse than, and I asked the girls, because I had never heard rapey before, and I said, I said, so this is, if you knew a guy who looked rapey, like, would you tell him? And then look, she's shaking her head like, no, no, and that's horrible. That is wrong, that is wrong, because who's, who's it? Like this guy, you're here with your lady, right? If she goes out, if she has something in her teeth and you don't say anything, you're an asshole, right? Yet you could walk around looking rapey for years. And nobody tells you, you're like, wow, I ain't had a date in a long time. Well, you look kind of rapey. When were you gonna tell me that? <laughs> that is information a man can use. Ladies, if you have a friend who looks rapey, let him in on it. <laughs> it's a fun show. I had to wrap up the show, but I never want to end the show on rapey. Right, because that, that's what happened. It showed me, how was the show, man? Alonzo, that, that's a rapey guy. He, guys all be on Twitter, yeah, Alonzo, hashtag rapey. Yeah. I don't need that attached to my name. I, I travel to other countries. I can see myself now, just standing at the border. Ooh, slow down, Mr. Rapey. <laughs> we don't need you here. I do, as I said, I travel all the time. Love, love seeing other countries.